Hi everyone, today we're going to have a symbolism roundup, and basically we'll start off with this, uh, where it's a, a picture promoting Deadpool 2, and obviously you can see the humorous side of this picture, but there is perhaps like a deeper, darker meaning that has been put there by the Illuminati and Freemasons. Um, but you can see it's clearly imitating the moment where um, God touches Adam. Um, obviously that's a famous piece of artwork. Um, but yeah, what deeper, darker meaning um, this actually holds, um, well, we don't actually know, but I'm sure uh, quite a lot of YouTubers can take a guess at it. <clears throat> so, basically, apparently, um, Yoda was originally going to be a bad guy in KOTOR 2. Now, I'm about to say um, Last Jedi spoilers, so this is your five second warning. Um, if you don't want to hear them, turn the video off right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, you've had your chance. So basically, um, Yoda's ghost shows up in The Last Jedi and he basically burns the first Jedi temple on Akto. Now, <clears throat> what this symbolizes is the, the churches being burnt in real life, uh, meaning the Christian churches. Um, because, like, the Jedi represent Christians. <clears throat> so we have Grand Master Yoda, one of the most powerful Jedi of all time. And he, he's almost, like, turning his back on the Jedi. And just, like, after all that happens in the prequels of him fighting against the tyranny of the Empire after all the Jedi got massacred and the Jedi archives got destroyed it's almost like Yoda in The Last Jedi he finishes the Empire's work by burning the first Jedi temple yes that's right Yoda is so powerful in The Last Jedi that even his ghost can burn a Jedi temple <clears throat> see that skull right there for the Skull and Bone Society so just know this, like, it even represents, like, the picture of the church uh, burning in the iPad Goat 2 video. Let me show you this real quick, because me and the Grocks um, always go on about this video, because it's very symbolic. Um, well, quite a lot of other YouTubers do as well. Like one of our teammates, um, Alex Langland, um, he knows about this as well. <clears throat> I, I swear he's done um, quite a few videos on that. Uh, so, yeah, there's... Oh, God. So there's the church burning that I was talking about. That represents the church is being burned in real life and like the the, the first Jedi temple uh, being burnt in the last Jedi um, because they've already started burning churches in real life it's only a matter of time before this escalates and even more churches get burned shame on you George W Bush because you let 9-11 happen. See the shark coming for the beast out of the sea? And the penis represents nukes? 
Michelle Obama type character, just like she represents the woman that that was in the school um, that George W. Bush was at during 9-11. Like, she's the teacher, basically. See the Freemason checkerboard symbolism? And this represents division right here with this brain and this lightning bolt. Because one part of the world thinks one thing and one part of the world thinks another. So it could be to do with ideology, religion, you name it, everything. It's all connected. See the dragon for the Rev 12 dragon? So, <clears throat> it's got to do with the Chinese because it's a Chinese dragon right there. So, China rising up and everything. They'll probably end up going against like North Korea and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, goes all the way back to this Freemason Royal Arch. See the Freemason checkerboard symbolism? Just like there, see? The white for heaven, the black for the darkness. And then <clears throat> that V is for the fifth age of the Bible that we have to pass over. Because that is to do with Roman numerals, like... In Roman numerals, a 5 is a V. So, <clears throat> again, Freemason checkerboard symbolism in the New Mutants trailer right there. So, <clears throat> yeah, so, <clears throat> this is to do with Avengers Infinity War now. And you see there are six Infinity Stones. That's got to do with the sixth age of the Bible, which is Jesus' golden age up in heaven. And it's got to do with 666 as well, which is the number of the Antichrist and Satan. See, the reality stone is red for Satan because Thanos wants to alter reality just like um, Satan does in real life. Because Thanos represents Satan. <clears throat> so... Here's your Obama type character, Black Panther. So they're showing even more symbolism of Obama next year. Because this um, uh, movie comes out in February 2018. So, <clears throat> so you can see how this is more symbolism of Obama rising back up. Just like the Crocs always said that he would rise back up. <clears throat> See how his head is literally above the pyramid right there? Because the pyramid is that play button there. See how he's rising up above the pyramid, above the burdens of Egypt, see? So, <clears throat> see that Michael B. Jordan guy? He represents Michael the Archangel. And then even if we click on this poster, <clears throat> see? Obama, a.k.a. Black Panther, at the top of the poster, because he's rising up, see? So, <clears throat> oh, don't forget the Illuminati pyramids at the bottom there. Because, see, he's he's risen above the pyramids again. He's risen the, above the burdens of Egypt. Like, we're all trapped down here at the bottom, underneath the burdens of Egypt, and that's why we have to rise up into heaven. Like, <clears throat> so, like, Andy Serkis, he represents Satan in this movie, just like he does in The Last Jedi when he's super in the of Snoke. Like, <clears throat> just showing the same symbolism over and over again. Like, even if you check this out, right, it says release day, 9th of February. That 9, that's for 9-11 and 9-9-9. Because... Remember, if you turn 999 upside down, it's 666. So, basically, right, um, the Fifty Shades movie is also out on the 9th of February, which is a bit weird. I guess that's another symbolic thing. Like, because, like... 
Christian Grey, like, is is he really a good guy? Is that why his name is Christian? Or is he actually a bad guy? And that's why he's played by Jamie Dornan, who played serial killer Paul Spector in The Fool. I don't know. But to me, Christian seems like a good guy because he worships the Rev 12 woman, Anastasia Still. So that, that, that's what you have to do. You have to worship the Rev 12 woman. So obviously, obviously you have to worship Jesus and God more because they're more holy. Anyway. <clears throat> so basically, here's another Rev 12 woman. Spencer Locke, the actress. She's going to be in this new Insidious movie where she plays a Rev 12 woman character. She played a Rev 12 woman character in the Resident Evil movies. She was called Kmart. That was her nickname. So, see how she's the Alice in Wonderland's character because she's got blonde hair? Because all Alice in Wonderland's characters are the Rev 12 woman characters. You have to understand this. <clears throat> See the last key, just like the key to open the abyss? <laughs> coming after the Rev 12 woman, just like the dragon coming after the Rev 12 woman. <clears throat> just look at Revelation 12 in the King James Bible. You will see it talks of um, a dragon coming after a woman, and that dragon is basically Satan. And this person here represents that woman mentioned in Revelation 12. And the satanic being call it a demon if you will, puts the key in her. Just like putting the key in the lock to open the abyss, to open up hell. That that is what's gonna happen in the end of the de end of days. Satan will put the key in the lock to open hell up and then all the demons will be unleashed upon the earth and so like shortly after we we will have to go to heaven to escape. Like, yeah, Jesus will save us. But, I mean, it may not happen straight away. We may, may need to fight off some demons first. So, even this, Jesus Christ tomb shock, test results on holy sight, and proof tomb is that of Christ. Scientists have confirmed the age of a tomb thought to be the resting place of Jesus Christ. So, again, mentions of a tomb, just like the new Tomb Raider movie is coming out next year in March. So, see the European flag has stars on it. The EU flag does. Representing the Pallades, that we, where the heavenly areas are. <coughs> So, in Rise of the Tomb Raider, there was even a character called the Prophet, and he very much resembled Jesus Christ. Anyway, we won't go too much into that in this video, because we've done loads of videos about that in the past. So, yeah. Look, Satan and his demons want your heart, but don't give Satan or the demons your heart. Your heart belongs to Jesus and God. So, see it says five keys for the fifth age of the Bible that we have to pass over. Because that is Satan's time. And then, <clears throat> these keys represent exactly the same as these stones. A ladder that represents Jacob's ladder. Then you see this door here. Then you see this door here, and it's red for Satan. One door probably leads to hell, the other door probably leads to heaven. 